What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for watching another episode of, you know, Life with Speedy Guns and the M235i. Um, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on Beamer Code. Just going to do a quick walkthrough of the app to show you guys the interface and how simple it is and what's actually on the front page and what you guys can all do. Instead of having it just be another, I'm going to do this procedure, I'm going to run this code and I just show you that particular what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go through a quick little tutorial. Before I get uh, get into it, I just want to shout out the developer of the app. His name's Stephen G. I'm not going to try to butcher his German name. I'm pretty sure it's German. I'm not going to try to butcher it, but shout out to him because this app is just phenomenal. If you have a BMW, you just really should be using this app. It's very simple, very straightforward. Coding is nothing to be afraid of. I mean, just obviously do a little research and have an idea of what you're doing, but this app is phenomenal. So shout out to Steven. If you have any issues ever, you can always email him on the app. It sends logs to him that he can look for you from your car. So that's it's just a phenomenal app. So thank you to him. Also, I got a shout out Thick F30. All of his content online is just pretty much the origination of Beamer Code, of people kind of get, knowing what it is. I mean, he's got so much good content. He's got a phenomenal page all about his F30 328i, uh, all his mods, all his everything Beamer Code, really. So shout out to him. His content is just pretty much what motivated me, pretty much what inspired me to start using Beamer Code and start making videos about it. So he's a man. Really cool content. So yeah, let's hop into it. I'm going to implement the screen record right about now and then we're just going to hop into demo mode so obviously the simple procedure you know plug in your odb adapter you know i coded my seatbelt on you got to kill as much power as possible the headlights uh usually the air conditioner just turns on and then hit accessory mode one time and then just just the main interface everything is right in front of you i mean advanced crash safety module if you want to turn the seatbelt chimes off you can turn off the notification the instrument cluster there's so much cool stuff this has actually got a lot for what you can do the seatbelt reminder so you guys can take a look at that i have uh so if you see right here seatbelt duration is at 100 seconds i changed mine to 20 seconds and whew, it is just beautiful because I don't put my seatbelt on immediately, so that not to have that chiming for it feels like hours at a time is amazing. Uh, the air conditioning, you can turn off the, the auto climate, which in my car just remembers the last setting, which is kind of annoying sometimes. It's not really that big a deal. I'm used to it now, so I left it. But I'll hop in the FEM, which is the front electronic module, which is, this is the largest one. So when you're actually connected to the car, it takes a little while to load. Um, I'll let you guys see. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do, whether it's just really just to personalize your car in whatever fashion you want. Like Beamer Code gives you that access. So just there's so much cool stuff, whether it's comfort opening with the key fob or, you know, having the key fob open and close your mirrors. I mean, whatever you want, really. There's an the engine start. So like for me personally, my car is a manual. So if I wanted to get, you know, an auto start with a key fob, I would be able to not be able to do that being that the manual would mess it up but if i were able to activate you know starting the engine without the clutch then i can actually get you know a remote start so that's really cool i've never messed with the headlight cleaning uh the indicator is cool when you're locking the car that actually didn't work for me you know it's what it is not everything does has worked but uh, so here's what i'm talking about the mirrors folding and unfolding just you can add a make a delay if you want. I mean, just to like have that power to yo like this is what I want for you know my own personal car. I want to custom it to you know what I want. This app just gives you full access, which is awesome. Uh, retrofit if you get the, the paddle shifters. I haven't messed with any of the voltage <coughs> voltage monitoring or anything. Excuse me, either with the welcome light. Uh, the reason why I bring go all the way down, let you guys see, is because these this one's really cool too. I really like this feature being that. Sometimes I want to just come home and run into the house real quick. Or if you want to go to Wawa real quick. I'm in Jersey, so there's Wawa. So I don't know if anyone watching this is out west and there's no Wawa. Whatever. If you want to run to the store real quick and you just leave your car on for two seconds. I like having it when I lock it. The horn beeps twice. So that way, like, I have that reassurance. Like, I heard it. I know it's locked. It's actually really loud. So, you know, I'm just letting you guys know. But I actually really like that feature. And then also for the head unit. Some really cool stuff you can do with the iDrive uh, screen. So I have the new start animation on mine. It was connected drive at first. I changed it to the M performance. It's just 
so sweet. It just even the colorway is just way more better. It's just I love it so much more. So then also scroll down. You can change the sports displays, the color for when you're in your car when you're like revving the engine. You can see the sport displays. Change that from orange to red if you want. Mm -hmm. This one's a good one. I feel like people will hop on the video in motion. If your car is equipped with that, mine unfortunately is not. I cannot watch DVDs or USBs, unfortunately. It definitely sucks. I'm super jealous about it, but the video in motion is really cool. I mean, obviously, you know, stay safe out there and <laughs> drive your car, but for, like, passengers and whatnot, if you want to watch a movie, it's just really cool. Um, and then also, this one's huge. Mm -hmm. The warning at startup, the disclaimer that says, you know, don't use the iDrive screen while driving, like, duh, obviously, that not active take that off immediately that one's <laughs> it's just like little things like that i mean they're subtle but it just it's so much better and then also for the instrument cluster there's some cool stuff you can change i actually can't do much being that i don't have the extended uh instrument cluster in my m235i so i've tried to change the logo but that would be like at the bottom right i don't have that so i can't change it but just like little things if when your e-light's on you know the warning of when that actually comes on uh, there's a bunch of cool stuff. You want to put the digital speed in the instrument cluster. It's just, this app is just, go, and this is just the main page. Like, I'm not even going to dive into expert mode at all. That, I mean, only do if you know what you're doing. Don't mess around with that. But I haven't really messed with much else. Um, I've gone into the rear electronic module in my la one of my last videos where I turned on the daytime running lamps in the rear. So that way the uh, DRLs were always on because they just look sweet. But yeah, this is the app. This is the interface. It's super straightforward. Coding's really nothing to be scared of. You just obviously want to be careful. So, I mean, it just obviously do this at your own discretion. Do the research. Know what you're doing. But this app is a must-have for your BMW. It is literally phenomenal. And then, I mean, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you want me to code anything in particular, let me know. I, I like, like doing the research. I literally like going out of my way to do the research and take my time to learn more stuff and then go do it. I mean, it's fun to me. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Any questions, ask. Thanks for watching. Peace.